has been a long time. My sister gifted me this camera over a year ago. So, um, I have not used the camera the way I should, but I'm here now. Let's get into it. Um, I've taken a break from YouTube for several reasons. Um, one of the biggest ones was trying to be obedient to what I thought was God speaking and it wasn't. And I understand that now and I'll probably go deeper into, you know, the explanation later on in life. But um, I'm here now and this video is really going to be about veganism. As you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup. I have, okay, I have lip gloss on, which some people think is makeup, lip gloss and liner, lip liner, um, and I have my extensions on. So maybe like a little bit of makeup, but I'm not wearing like foundation or concealer, blush, none of that. And um, I haven't even uploaded the videos that I planned on uploading, which I will soon, but I did struggle with acne badly, badly for the last one and a half years. Um, it was extremely bad. I've never, like my skin, for people who know me before this, like my skin was very beautiful and it sucks because I was not grateful for the skin that I had that time. Um, I had really clear skin, I didn't see it. I was always trying to figure out something that could make my skin look better and you know, it's just, anyways, I'm here now. And so, I'm gonna just do a little recap, but I will have another video fully about the acne and my acne journey and all that, which I do not have now. I'm not even speaking that over my face. Like, my face has been clearing up so well. Anyways, um, a little, a little tidbit is that I got an IUD, which is like a type of birth control. And I'm telling anyone who's watching this, please hear me when I say, I would never give the advice to get an IUD. I'd rather you take pills, honestly, birth control pills, than an IUD because the amount of things that I've read up on it and what I've experienced, I could never tell anyone to take that, you know, play with fire like that. I just couldn't do it. Um, anyways, I got the IUD. Within less than a month of me getting the IUD, like I was breaking out before the IUD. I had like a little thing um, on my forehead and I had some bumps on my, on my chin. They weren't too crazy. When I got that IUD, the way my face started to react was insane. I got the IUD taken out after like three or four months. My sister actually warned me. She was like, I think it's the IUD breaking you out. And apparently she said I went off on her. I was like, no, it's not, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember it, but I apologized and I apologized to her. Um, anyways, I got the IUD taken out and my face still was not healing like it was it was not really healing i had bumps still everywhere like and this it was like i would say at least seven months since i took the iud out that it was still acting up and then i was just doing research i wasn't even doing research i'm sorry i was on social media one day and this man that i follow he posted a video about how veganism is a f scam I watched it and I'm like, yeah, okay, like I didn't believe anything about it. For those of you who know, I have been, I have chosen the vegan life for, um, I would say like a year and some months. So anyways, um, I saw the video, I ignored it, whatever. Then a couple days later, my best friend, they don't know each other. These two people who I saw on social media, they do not know each other. My best friend posted a different video about veganism and how, you know, it affects people differently. Now, I am making this announcement really clear. I am not against anyone who wants to eat um, as a vegan. I'm not against that. I was once a vegan. So how dare I, you know, say that how you're living is wrong or whatever. But I'm going to explain to you why I'm not. And scripture that I learned. So anyways, um, I watched that video and I'm like, yo, what? Like, why am I seeing these two videos in the same day? Mind you, the first one, the woman said how she started to break out worse when she became a vegan and all this different stuff. So I'm doing research and I'm just seeing like different women, specifically women, and I'll get into that in a second, different women who explain that they were vegan for a long time. Some were even vegan for like 10, 20 years. 
and they would try different foods and stuff and it just never worked. They were not getting the hormones, the minerals, all that that they needed. Um, and I really believe that that was my experience. So um, I was really struggling with it because I was so attached to veganism, you know, and I hate to say it like this, but some things can become cultish. I'm not saying that anyone who's a vegan is in a cult, but there is a level of like, you're afraid to try anything new and God did not give us a spirit of fear. So even my fear of leaving, leaving veganism, my fear of what certain people would say, it really clouded my judgment instead of seeing like, okay, God's going to bless any food that I eat, like no matter what it is. And I'm not saying this to say that you shouldn't eat wisely because I 100% agree with eating healthy. What I don't agree with is people who say that meat is like the worst thing on earth. Um, anyways, long story short, so I started to do a lot of research and I'm like, yo, no matter what I eat, no matter what I do, there was a time where I was not eating any calories or carbs, like I was just eating vegetables and I was still breaking out like crazy. There was a time where I was just doing different diets and it just wasn't working. So I was like, all right, you know what? Maybe I can, you know, figure something out. So I started to look into other things and it was saying that you should try beef liver pills. Now I spoke to a few people, like loved ones about it. And they were like, no, don't do that. You're a vegan, your, your, your body's finally clean. Don't do that. Um, the thing that I, the symptoms that I experienced while being a vegan was not fun, okay? Um, one of the biggest ones was the fact that I was always tired. I was always tired, I was always sleepy, you know, things were just very hazy for me, I was very moody, and I can definitely say that some of this was also from the IUD, but why I'm saying that it wasn't just the IUD is because even after the IUD was taken out, I was still struggling with these symptoms. So anyways, I was very moody um, a lot of the time, I didn't want to be bothered, um, I was getting sick so much, and for, you know, as a vegan, you're, it's supposed to be the opposite. You're supposed to be very healthy. Like, I was getting super sick. Fevers, chills, like things that I never really experienced. I only got the flu once in my life. And that was like, after two days, I was good. So, that just goes to show, like, honestly, even when I was eating trash before being a vegan, I was still way healthier than what I was experiencing during that time. Now, a lot of people were telling me, oh, it's just your body being cleansed out. It's just the meat being cleansed out. Okay, cool. I kept trying and my face was not doing what I needed it to do. I am a poet and an actress. I did not want to be on stage or in films with tons of bumps on my face. Like, it was bad. It wasn't like a couple little pimples. My whole face was breaking out. It hurt when I would wash it. It hurt when I would put makeup over it. It just hurt in general. So... Um, after like giving it a month or two months of really thinking about it, I was like, you know what, I'm going to do these beef liver pills. So I did it and immediately, like immediately, I noticed a difference in my, um, in my energy levels. A lot of people are going to say, oh, that's a placebo effect, blah, 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 cool. If you feel like that, that's on you. But I'm telling you what I experienced. I experienced so much energy. And even if it's a placebo, a placebo effect. Why didn't I have that placebo effect when I became a vegan? You get what I'm saying? Like, in my head when I became a vegan, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to be the healthiest. I'm going to have the most energy. I'm going to do this, this, and that. And that didn't happen. It did not happen. So if it's such a placebo effect, it should happen, you know, both times, no? Anyways, I did that. And um, I started the beef liver pills. And I was reading other people who said that bone broth was really good. Beef bone broth or chicken bone broth now here's the thing i don't like chicken i never like chicken i just think that like it's just too much the veins and all that so i was like you know i'm gonna do the beef bone broth so i started to cook a little bit of beef bone, bone broth and i kid you not y'all when i tell you the way my face started to clear up i promise you guys i did everything in the book to clear my acne up i went to two or three different dermatologists like i did so much stuff and as soon as I started to eat meat, the way my skin cleared up. Now, I don't eat just any meat. I eat grass-fed. I don't eat it all the time, even though I have gone like a little. I had it like three times this month, I think. No, maybe two times this month. But anyways, um, I only eat grass-fed because I know the way they're injecting chemicals, not just into meat. They're doing it. They're adding chemicals to veggies, too, and all that. So I'm not like, let's be clear. They're doing it to all of our food. Um, but yeah, I'm very, I'm 
very, very aware of what I'm eating. Now, here's the thing. I've had loved ones, unfortunately, who tried to condemn me for eating meat with scripture, um, twisting scripture to fit what they wanted me to do. And that is something, because there has, there, there's some Christian out there who might watch this and realize, like, I'm living my life in a place of law instead of the grace that Jesus has blessed me with. And I was struggling with that for so long, not just in how I was eating, but in so many different areas. Um, and that's how you become legalistic and religious. And Jesus wants a relationship with you. Like, it's one thing to follow rules, but you can follow rules and still not even know that person. Anyways, or more importantly, him know you, because the most important thing is for Jesus to know you. So um, there was a loved one who I was speaking to, and they were they just kept telling me, like, you know, if you eat meat, you're not going to live a healthy life. If you um, if you turn away from veganism, you know, you're not obeying God. You're not going to be your higher self, or like not higher self, but something along those lines. Like, there's going to be things that I will lack spiritually, basically, and. I'm not gonna lie, as soon as I said it, I didn't believe it, but I still, one thing about me, I still wanna go to scripture for my answer. I don't wanna just make it up in my head, which is what a lot of people do. They'll say, oh, the Holy Spirit told me this, but it's literally against scripture sometimes. So it's like, no, God didn't tell you that. You need to go to scripture to know what God's telling you because that's where God's words are, especially in Jesus' words. Um, and one thing that I've noticed since this journey of going from really unhealthy to vegan to now eating healthy but not vegan is that I'm letting God like I'm enjoying life I'm not going to stick with one thing just because I know it I'm gonna stick with what works best for me um I still have vegan friends like if if I ever I cook vegan meals actually 90% of the time I cook vegan because I don't know how to make much except for steak which I don't cook all the time so if I have friends who come over who are vegan, I'm going to cook vegan for them. I'm going to order vegan food for them because I respect everyone's beliefs. The issue is when someone tells you like, oh, you shouldn't be eating this way. You should only eat my way. Scripture literally says that we should not argue over these things. And Romans 14 verse 3 says, let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth for God hath received him. Now, they're not talking about someone who doesn't eat because everyone in the world eats. What they're saying here is don't let someone judge you for the way that you're eating just because they eat differently. And I, during this time, I honestly was judged so much for, you know, choosing to eat differently um, by Christians, by believers. Um, I was told so many different things, but there's even a scripture in Timothy, 1 Timothy, I believe, 4 verse 3. I'll write it out where it explains that in the end times there will be people who will speak against marriage there will be people who will try to force you to abstain from eating meat so it's like these scriptures are there for us i'm not one thing that i know about god in genesis is that he did make vegetables and fruits for us to eat that's what he said he said he gave us the, the herb yielding seed and you know things that we are supposed to eat that are veggies and fruits however Man messed that up. Now we are in these bodies that are of flesh. And there are certain things that I just need hormonal um, that I cannot just get from veggies. Something else that I've learned is that the amount of spinach, like I literally try to eat at least a half a bag of spinach a day. You need about, I think, like five or six bags of spinach just to get the same amount of nutrients that you could get from bone broth or all these other things. Um... And there was a time where I was even taking like 20 supplements a day. I'm not taking pills every day to get nutrients when I can get it from vegetables and meat, fruits and meat. Like the meat is there for some people so that the vegetables can, um, the, the meat can kind of like soak in the vegetables more. I'm not a scientist. You can look these things up on yourself. There's something that meat has called creatine that is not found in any other um, vegetable or thing. It's found in us and in meat. So I'm saying that to say, um, if you are that Christian, don't try to force someone to eat the way you're eating because scripture literally tells us not to do that. One thing that I asked a loved one is, how can you tell someone that they're not being obedient to God or that they're not, you know, living as, as good as they're supposed to live by eating meat? 
when Jesus ate fish, he ate lamb. He gave fish to people to eat. Like, if you're that big on veganism, you're going to ignore what Jesus, God, did? God's not going to tell you not to do something and then do it. He's not psychotic. He's not a contradictory God. He's not like that. So I just think that, you know, I, I hope this helps someone because it took me a lot of time to figure out what I'm doing is not wrong. I'm doing something to take care of my body. I have not gotten sick since then. Actually, I'm sorry. I got sick once since then. And you know what's funny about that? It was the day that I um, I boiled a bunch of vegetables and fruits because the blender broke. I boiled so many vegetables and fruits. And we were eating it for like the like a, a day after that. And I literally got a stomach virus from that. So, or food poisoning, you know, one or the other. And I didn't eat meat that, that week. I was eating the boiled fruits and vegetables fully that day. I wasn't eating anything else. I know that God blesses the food that I eat. I'm not worried about making God mad by what I eat because that is a very scary mindset to have. God gave us things to enjoy. Um, and yeah, Jesus ate it. I'm going to eat it. Jesus ate fish. I'm going to eat some fish. I like some salmon sometimes. I'm going to eat it. You know, as long as it's not something that was like modified or whatever, like tilapia, I don't mess with that. There are certain things I just won't eat. And that's just my own thing. Um, but I'm not going to tell someone like you're not you're not being the best version of you because of the way you're eating. I will tell someone, hey, maybe you should be careful with the sugar or, you know, because the thing is we need to do things in moderation, moderation. But it doesn't mean that you completely take some or you. You can completely take something out, but it doesn't mean that you tell someone else to completely take something out of their, you know, um, out of their diet for the sake of pleasing God. We please God through our faith in Jesus. I and my faith in Jesus, he's the best. He is the bestest. And I have been enjoying my vegetables. I've been enjoying my little vegan meals that I still put together. And I've been enjoying my steak. I'm enjoying it all. My face is flourishing, okay? Like, listen, we're living in a different time. So, um, yeah, bye.